Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It's a little bit different of a video for me. Um, I am going to show you guys my groceries that we got. So this is the beginning of the month, which is when um, we do our Costco delivery and um, a, another grocery store pickup um, for produce. Cause when I've gotten Costco delivery produce, it's always been moldy and gross. So yes, um, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about why I do delivery and yeah, let's get into it. So I, I don't know if you guys know or if you have it available in your area, but I do Costco through like Instacart. Um, I don't really use Instacart for anything else. I've done like delivery food like Grubhub and stuff a few times, but um, this is specifically on Costco's website. So you don't need like a Instacart membership or anything. I don't know if you need that anyway. Um, and there's no fees. They say that they, the price might be raised a little bit, but I've compared and it's not a big difference for most of the stuff. Um, and I personally don't like taking the kids out. So it's a, now that we live out of the city, it's like a 40 minute drive to Costco and what, like two hour shopping, 40 minute drive back. So like three and a half hours, um, it's just more cost effective for us gas wise and time wise to tip the Instacart driver and pay that tiny bit of increase in price. So, um, check and see if you guys have that option in your area because it's been really helpful. Um, and then we just do pick up at the other store when we go I'll like add something in so we'll go visit a friend or we'll go to like the trampoline park and then on the way back we will um stop by the grocery store and just pick it up and it just works out really well and then I don't have to worry about either shopping on the weekend when my husband can hang with the kids or taking them in and like missing school stuff or just missing outdoor playtime which I would rate way rather than do that than be in the grocery store under like fluorescent lights and I don't even like doing it I get tired of it so let's go in into it um first I will show you guys my Costco haul that I did yesterday um and then I'll show you guys all of this stuff um and then at the end I will show you guys our fridge once I get it all put away all right so this is everything that I just got um delivered including ice, which I'm going to put away real quick. Um, but this big bag of ice, so I'm going to put this in uh, between our two freezers and then I'll show you guys all the rest. So I've never actually done a haul like this, so I will try to go through and show you guys everything. Um, I try to eat pretty healthily, kind of pay attention to organic, but um, I just feel like this is like a real thing. Also, I've been dying for <laughs> nacho cheese Doritos. She said they were out, but she must have found some. So, yay. Okay. Um, some Epsom salt for baths. Um, this is like half the price as the grocery store. Um, applesauce pouches. I did not organize this in any way. Soap for my husband because he just loves classic bar soap. Um, gold potatoes. My kids have all been super into smoothies lately. So I got a few things for those. Um, but I am getting oat milk at the regular grocery store. Um, you like these ice cream bars to have after the kids go to bed. They usually have haagen -Dazs ones, but they were sold out. So I got these instead, um, which these are fine too. Just not quite as good. Um, I never get chicken thighs, but I was going to try these out. Um, just like cheapo pepperoni for pizzas that we have on Friday. Um, blueberries frozen for smoothies as well which do not feel very frozen. So I'm gonna put those in the freezer. Okay, and a few different cheeses. This is not it, but um, goat cheese. We like these a lot for salads or um, I sometimes make little like charcuterie boards for my husband and I um, after the kids go to bed. Uh, for sandwiches for my husband and I, um, because I feel like I don't think about us enough when it comes to food. So I tried to think about what we need a little bit more this time around. Um, this big thing of Parmesan, which I go through in like the month. So I really like those. Butter, um, cause we bake a lot. These were on sale. Um, so it comes with two, they're pretty big, but we do eat these, each one with a meal. Um, but I got two of them. They were like $5 for both. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, the Doritos. Which I honestly never get these. They're so bad for you, but 
I just, they sounded so good. Um, oh, a little thing of bananas down here. Um, the, these Himalayan kettle chips, um, they, we get these, both of these chips every time. Um, there's easy and the kids like them and they're not filled with a bunch of junk. Um, okay. And then coming over here, get chicken stock every month. It's like a six pack, super good. Um, it reminds me of the Trader Joe's one, which is like the only other kind of stock that I really like. Um, two of these cases because I've, for the most part, got my husband to stop, stop drinking soda. I've never been a soda drinker, but he really likes bubbly things to have with uh, meals. And these have got him to pretty much stop drinking soda. So that's great. Um, we really like this ravioli, whatever cheese is in it. Uh, mozzarella is really good. Um, big thing with tortillas. Some salt. Um, these are, really, they're sugary, but they're, um good for the kids when we go on a walk or go to um like a friend's house or something like that um some strawberries um <laughs> i've been dying to try this so this with this i'm not pregnant sound very good that wasn't a sarcastic i'm not pregnant that is a genuine i just think it sounded good um some lunch meat. I haven't tried the Kirkland brand, but I'm sure it's probably fine. Um, because I got, I mentioned sandwiches before because I got, um, I like these. They're really simple. I bake most of our own bread, but I like these for a really easy, uh, lunch or, uh, like late night snack sort of thing. Um, I was getting these for a while. I actually prefer these when you order them from the regular site rather than the same day because they come individually packaged so I can throw them in their snack drawer. Um, but yeah, these are pretty good. Um, a five pound block of Tillamook cheddar. They live in Oregon, so we like to get Tillamook here. Um, some hard boiled eggs. I could boil my own, but it's just like one easy step. Um, mozzarella cheese for pizzas. Um, heavy cream, which I use this in. Um, I use the heavy whipping cream. My daughter just woke up and joined me. Um, and like if I make a pie or, gosh, I just use it for a lot of things. Alfredo, half and half is what I put in my coffee. It's not organic. I just really like this brand um, a lot. It's my favorite, um, which is the same sour cream that I get. Uh, we don't usually get yogurt from there, so we will see how we like that. Um, this case, so is like my life. I'm obsessed with it. Some salsa to just go with those chips that I showed you. Um, I don't usually get a giant thing of this cream cheese, but the other store, I've been baking bagels, and then the other store I'm going to has buy one, get one free. So I'm going to kind of stock up on bagels because it's an easy breakfast for the kids to make. Okay, rounding out um, their flour, which is a really good deal. Um, there we go. And then, <laughs> this is like really unhealthy, I'm sure, but I got one of their chickens, their rotisseries. I think they're just kind of nice to have the day that we get groceries, because I never like cooking on the day we get groceries. All right, and that is everything. Also, I bought some eggs. I ordered a different brand, but they were sold out. So I got these, which look totally fine. <laughs> I think that's actually everything. All right, guys, and this is my fridge after Costco. Um, obviously, I did not get much produce. That's where I'm getting from the other store. And I think I have a picture of what our fridge was before. We did a really good job of eating through it. So, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and show you guys my groceries tomorrow, too, and the rest of the fridge. Hey, guys. Okay, so I just did our, um, we just went and saw some friends who live by our grocery store that we do pick up at. Ours is um, Fred Meyer. It used to be like local to our state, but um, Kroger owns it now. So same thing as Kroger, I think. Um, and yeah, so I will show you guys what I got here and then our fridge after. Okay, so here's just a couple frozen things I got. Um, I've never tried this brand. This is for my husband and he's just not picky. He just wants something. Um, otherwise, he'll stop on the way to work and get even worse stuff. <laughs> I'm so sorry for him. These are my, like, uh, if I have a migraine or um, if something's going on, they're not healthy. We, like, never have them. But those are my, like, emergency, like, I cannot 
yeah okay anyway <laughs> these are for um a craft that we're doing for beautiful feet it's like a painting a moon so i'm gonna squish this up dip it in paint and then i think they put it on the plate um some pasta this is all just like the same my husband is odd and he will not eat long pasta because he thinks of worms so <laughs> i've got all of this kind um he requested hot sauce um i've got these to snack on i haven't had these in forever um ketchup just for my husband my kids either use what's called yum sauce i don't think they have that everywhere um it's amazing you can order it online um but we none of the rest of us use ketchup um these were buy one get one free um i try i'm get got a few different oat milks oat milks to try um so i got these and they were all on sale and then these ones are refrigerated um yeah and then <laughs> Yeah, cocoa powder we've been out baking powder um black beans these are diced tomatoes which i usually get from costco but they were sold out i love this brand for their um caesar dressing so i wanted to give their poppy seed dressing a try um some refried beans and then this was supposed to be two of these but they gave me one of these and one of these um one's sliced and one's not but we like having this with that uh queso from costco that you guys saw um, and then I also got him this hot sauce, extra hot, I don't know, we'll see if he likes this. Um, where's Quang? Because I want to make some tiramisu, because I have all the other ingredients for it, so I added that last minute. Um, I got four of these and four of these, because um, I love having kombucha, and I don't brew it in the winter, I really only brew it in the summer. I got a ton of bananas, because I also have these Costco ones, um, because I'm going to freeze a bunch for the kids' smoothies and a cantaloupe i think this is like 10 apples we really like the cosmic crisp is what we've been getting lately um these are just little mandarins which i guess rowan isn't as into because she my friend gave her one and she didn't want it um this big thing of arugula i'm finally to a point where i'm making salad enough that i go through this before it goes bad <laughs> um i want to make some stuffed mushrooms pioneer woman has a super delicious recipe um, bell pepper just because I like to randomly use those or the kids snack on it but um, like I can never find when I'm doing the online order the um, the little sweet peppers like a bag of them I know the store has them but I can never find them online um, a dirty towel <laughs> um, and then just some like uh, tomatoes to use for all different things um, and then I just got a little a few little valentiny things which I got my daughter, we don't have any, but I got her Squishmallow or whatever they're called. Um, but this is for one of my sons and this is for the other and it just has like a little thing attached to it. Um, and then little cards for them, which is a substitute. There wasn't supposed to be unicorn, but I'll show you guys my fridge in just a sec. I just wanted to point out that I do um, keep fruit out right here all the time. This is pretty much what I usually have avocados in here too, but I didn't get any this time. Um, this is snack drawer stuff, which I can show you guys a snack drawer video if you'd like as well. Um, but yeah, I just keep these out for the kids to have whenever they say they're hungry. I and this is everything that we have now. Um, I don't have any like cute containers for stuff. <laughs> I don't like color. I do the drinks, but that's just because it makes it look more appetizing. But um, this is like stuff that my husband is feeding cat the stray cat outside but um <laughs> okay so that's like everything I got um I think the grocery total for this was um was um I think I had some coupons which it was like if you spent a certain amount you got a certain amount off and with they were out of some things I wanted but they still gave me the coupon so I think food was like around 90 I didn't think so um for the stuff so not bad um oh we get our meat from our um butcher shop that's far away now but by our old house um gosh, a, a couple times a year and I just fill the freezer with it um so that's how much I spent here on the on the food portion and then um Costco uh I don't think I mentioned it was about 500 um, and so this is the majority of our food for the month, but I will go and do like produce and like random little like dinner pickup things, um, a couple more times this month. So I usually, I think like we spend another like 75 to hundred each weekend 
try to keep it like on the lower end but yeah this is everything we got and um let me know um like if you guys use any of the stuff or what you guys might recommend that's similar or especially if there's a certain oat milk that you like out of these i actually usually get oatly but these are just for their smoothies so not my coffee this time um but okay yeah hopefully you guys liked this let me know if you want to see more videos like this because this is my first one